Welcome back to another video and to be honest with you, I really did not plan on filming this video on the day that I did. I actually didn't plan on filming it at all. It kind of just, we, I fell into it. So if you saw my last video on how I got <clears throat> my first vending machine collection after one full month, if you haven't seen that video, check it out right here. It's only like one minute long, so a week away for you. All right, now that you're back. So as you saw, I had a horrible collection. And after that, I was pretty bummed out. So after I collected my money, I went back home. I hopped back in my bed. And then just like some people scroll on Instagram, I was scrolling on OfferUp. So after about 30 minutes of sad scrolling on OfferUp, there was a posting that said that there was a claw machine for sale for four or $500, something like that. And then when I first saw it, I was like, okay, yeah, this is a good deal, but there's no way I'm gonna be able to get this because it, it was two hours away. As you guys saw from the title, I was able to get my first machine and here's how I did it. So about 10 minutes after I saw the posting, I started thinking to myself like, damn, I, I don't know if I'm ever gonna find a deal this good ever again. So just by a long shot, I just asked my parents, said, can we please get this? It's two hours away. Um, and they were in almost uh, almost immediately were just like it was like no obviously not it's two hours away you have no movers yeah it, was, it just didn't make sense for them to to do it but yeah they i actually got excited when they told me that because they just listed all the problems preventing them from being able to get the machine so i went back downstairs and i instantly started calling as many movers as i could find i went on offer up search for movers went online search for movers and it was last minute so there was almost nobody available and the people that were available they were still far out of my budget so after calling a bunch of movers for a while i started accepting that this might not be possible so i called the seller started telling her like yeah i really wish that i could pick these up but it's like it's a great deal but i just don't have the money to to get movers right now and she was on speaker at this time so she answered me and said I'll take, listen, I'll take $100 off. Just go get a U-Haul. They have a lift gate. It makes it really easy to, really easy to move. The machine has wheels. I have people over here. You don't need movers. We can get it on there. And then she was on speaker once again. So my parents heard this and I looked at them. I was like, oh, please. And then uh, like I was like whispering to them and mouthing to them. And they said, yes. And then I was like, okay, so sick. Thank you. Thank you, seller um yeah well i might be able to make that work let me call you back and then from there we went to the u-haul place and then set up on our way so everything has been moving super fast um i actually planned on filming a different video today and you can check that out right here but yeah today we are picking up a new machine and it's going to be a claw machine and uh, the movers were way too expensive so we're going to pick up a u-haul and luckily this claw machine is on wheels so we can just use the lift gate and bring it to my house so lowest cost yep there we go So this right here is the machine. It's filled with product. Um, she just showed us her playing it, but she said she didn't feel comfortable with me videoing. But yeah, we're about to get it on the U-Haul and bring it home. So after we tested out the machine and make sure everything was all working, we were ready to bring the machine onto the truck. But the problem was that the seller didn't actually have people ready to move the machines like she said she did on the phone. And I was really worried because it was just me, my mom, and the seller, and she was a there's an older lady and then my mom's my mom. I don't want her lifting heavy things. And then if you see in the videos, I have some things wrapped around my hands. It's because I have some chronic injuries that, that I was dealing with at the time. And yeah, I, was, I didn't know how we were gonna get it on. But the way that we did was just, it was crazy. The seller literally just asked random people. <laughs> and we got together like six or seven people, just nice people. By the grace of God, it just, nice people happened to come by and they helped us move the machine onto the truck and we got it. So if you're watching this, appreciate you. Yeah, we got it on. The claw machine into the truck 
it was super hard because it usually these trucks according to the seller usually have a lift gate but this one came with this tiny ramp and there was no way it was gonna fit so the seller figured out a way she just drove the car around and reversed it and they just we just all pushed it into like I didn't really push it that much I kind of just guided it from the inside but um yeah she's, I can't believe we can't believe we got it in there but I'm very excited and grateful so I'll see you guys when I get home yeah that should be fine oh yes all right let's go Sorry, I wasn't trying to film you, my oh, bad, dude. <laughs> One, two, three. Whoa. Okay, I might see how Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. We'll just we'll just try to guide. Yeah. One strong one, two, three. Oh, this one. Okay. Okay. Careful. 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 Get out of the way. Okay. Okay. That's good. 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 Keep going. One, two, three. Good. 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 Keep going. Slide. I think. Good. Good. Okay. That's it. That's it. Is the back glass? Just guide it. No. You got it. Go. Oh, okay. Okay. No. Push it. Just push it. Careful. Don't. No one get injured. Is this the bottom? You're almost to the bottom. Yes. Yeah. Can we? Right. One, two, three. Careful. Oh. No one get hurt. Got it again? Yeah. 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 It should be good now. This is not 500 pounds. I can tell you. Yes. Nice. This is not. Good job, Logan. Thanks. Yes. Good job, Ryan. <laughs> you lifted it, Ryan. Thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Really helps the channel. I appreciate that that thumbs up. And yeah, this is gonna be that was part one of a three-part series. It's gonna be how I started my claw machine business. Kind of like how I started my vending machine business. Uh, if you haven't seen that series, check it out right here. But yeah, man, that was a that was a whole mission, and to this day, I'm impressed and surprised that we were able to pull that off such last minute. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Well, you can use it as leverage, though. This is just in case it like crawls on the ground. That's not gonna do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was thicker. <laughs>